In this video by EBN Painting, we are doing repairs of the stucco of the wall that goes around the back of the house and painting. And we start our preparation work by moving gravel a few inches away from the wall. Next step is pressure washing. And then we do scraping. Using a putty knife, we remove any loose stucco from the wall. After we scraped everything that was peeling, we apply a base coat of stucco using a hook and a trowel. When we apply the stucco to the bottom of the wall, we put metal shields that help us to reduce the mess and minimize the loss of material. After we finished with the base coat, we give it some time to dry before using the sponge to make it smooth. The dry time would depend on outside temperature. After the base coat, we apply a coat of texture to match the one that's currently on the wall. And this is the look of the wall the following day after it had the time to dry. There were a few cracks on the wall that needed to be fixed and we repaired those using a combination of latex calc and elastomeric patch. For medium sized cracks we used latex calc. We squeezed it out of the tube using calking gun and then with a brush that has wet bristles we spread it evenly. And for all the smaller cracks we used elastomeric patch. After we were finished with the repairs, we did masking. For all the places where the wall met the concrete floor, we ran 12-inch masking paper to prevent the overspray and then covered the area with tarps. We masked the edges of the wall that are shared with neighbor using green tape. We masked the lights with paper and decorative concrete that ran alongside of the wall we covered with tarps. After we finished with masking, we apply a silkrete sealer to all the new stucco. Usually new stucco requires only primer before painting if it had the time to cure. However, on this wall we finished stucco repair just the day prior, so it still has a high pH level and to create a buffer between new stucco with high pH level and the paint, we are using both the sealer and the primer. After we're done with the sealer, we apply Luxon masonry primer using a roller. After the stucco wall has been repaired, if you use just the spray gun to paint the area, the repaired area will not blend in very well, it will look mismatched. So for the paint job to hide better the area that was repaired, one of the coats has to be applied with the roller. It doesn't matter which coat, it can be the coat of primer or a coat of paint. For this particular wall, we chose the primer to be applied with the roller. After we are done priming repaired areas using a roller, we use an airless spray again to paint the entire wall. Uh, usually before we start spray painting the wall that is shared with neighbor, we look over on the other side to see if there is anything that, uh, that is valuable that can be damaged by overspray. And on this wall, there is nothing of value that we have to worry about on the other side. So when spray painting, we are using the highest pressure setting of the sprayer. When spray painting a stucco wall, 
doing it in two different directions gives the best results. For the first coat, when we apply the paint, we do it from side to side, and when the paint had the time to dry, we go back to apply the second coat, and we do it up and down. Applying paint in two different directions help create even coverage and eliminate any lines. And this is how the wall looked like before we started and after we finished.